Welcome back. We are here looking at the US indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 8, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can gain access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and this has been absolutely a roller coaster of a week. We started off the week pretty uh, nicely, rallied here, and then just completely uh, collapsed. So um, we hit the bottom at roughly 3,723, and then on Friday it was basically all over the place, but we managed to rally at the end of the session, got close to the 20 exponential, and then found resistance. So this is a fairly uh, bullish candlestick. The reason why I say that is because we managed to basically kind of stop at the previous highs of this candlestick. Usually if you get a close above the previous highs from the day before, that is a very bullish sign that we are mostly going to drift higher. We are still trading underneath the 20 exponential. We could get rejected here and head even more south, but this stop at the end of the session was fairly positive. If you look at technical indicators, otherwise we went way outside of the Bollinger Band and then we bounced back and it looks like we are going to head towards the middle of the Bollinger Band. So we could be heading towards roughly uh, 3,890 uh, and then continue onwards. So this was basically just a, you could see a V-shaped recovery, it went down towards uh, 100 moving average, found support just above the 100 and then continued towards 4,000. If you look at other indicators, the MACD is still above zero. It was negative at one point. We're at 0 0.7. Um, so, and the RSI is at the 41 and is becoming bullish. The CCI is still negative. We're underneath the minus 100 and the stochastic is still negative. So there are good signs. There are also bad signs. Um, if we manage to break above the 20 exponential moving average, then yes, we could head towards it uh, for 4,000 level. If we break below the 100 moving average, then that opens the door to the 150 down here at roughly 3,600. We can look at where we could go with this. So we had this consolidation here. This was a move of roughly give or take, give or take uh, 325 points. Usually it means that we dry rally 325 points, give or take, and we basically have done that. So this rally could basically be coming in the end. And we can also look at the Fibonacci retracements. We can see that if we were to fall, we could fall towards the first Fibonacci retracement. We had tested one here, broke it, and then rallied above it again. Then the next one is here at the 30, 8.2 and that is at 3,679. Then we have the 50 here at 3,598 and then the last one right here at 3,517. So we could drop to these Fibonacci retracements, that is possible, but as I said, this rally at the end of the session looks very bullish. Uh, we have an example of it right here. The last time we at a major drop in the market where sorry where we basically fell hit bottom found support and then we had this candlestick here which is above this candlestick here and after that we just continue rally all the way up towards 4000 so that looks very similar this pattern here is not as obvious as it was back here but this could mean that we will continue up towards the $4,000 range. So we most likely head towards something similar to this. So it will be really choppy, but that is what it looks like for the S&P 500 at this point. A break below this counseling here, well, that opens the door to those Fibonacci retracements. So Monday will basically show where we are at, at this uh, indice. So let's look at the Dow Jones. 
So the Dow Jones is looking even more bullish than the S&P 500. As you can see, this candlestick here is above the previous highs there, and that is a very encouraging sign. So we are not that far above, that far from the top of the bullish band. That's only a move of 1.15%, and then we'll basically run into resistant at the, at the top of the bullish band. Technical indicators here are turning around. The stochastic is turning around, crossing the signal line. The MACD is also becoming more uh, bullish. The CCI has become bullish, and the CCI, uh, the RSI has become bullish, bullish, and the CCI is heading towards zero. We're still at minus 68. Uh, break above zero, heading towards 100 plus. And that is a very bullish shine. So if you take this into consideration, usually most of uh, these three indices that we can cover here, they they tend to follow. Of course, the Nasdaq has been hit hardest by this pullback, but it's also the the, stock, uh, the indice that has been heavily inflated the last, uh, basically the last year. Everybody is pouring money into the tech stocks, and therefore it will most likely also be the one that gets hardest hit. But Dow Jones is looking very strong at this point. We're trading above the 20 exponential. We could head towards the top of the bullish band before finding resistance. And yes, this could be a sign that we basically hit the bottom on Thursday for the Buddhism uh, indice. And now we're going to head towards uh, 32,000, 32,500 and beyond that. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ got absolutely hammered the last uh, two and a half weeks. We fell in the NASDAQ roughly 12.23% towards the 150 moving week average. And at this point, it looks like, I'm not going to say that we're, gonna, we're out of the shed yet, because this is, this is still a um, hammer, a very bullish shine. We're just above the 100 moving week average. This could just be a rally up towards the 150 moving average, the 100, no, 50 moving average, the 20 and the 40 exponential, that's a gain of roughly 4.58%, but we did not manage to take out this candlestick. So still, we could have even more downward pressure, but the 150 offered quite a lot of, of support. Technical indicators, they are still very, very bearish. So you look at the MACD, is a minus at uh, 145. The, the stochastic is still underneath the signal line and is underneath the red line here as well. And it's very bearish indeed. The CCI is bearish and the RSI at the moment is oversold and is still flat. So yes, there are some encouraging signs that we could basically uh, hit the bottom here. And that is basically the 150 moving average. It basically rallied significantly from that price level. When our people but just thought that this was going to be the bottom, that is 112, um, 12,000 and 12,200. Sorry. And uh, yes, if we continue going lower from here, we basically have to take out uh, this this level here, and then we'll head towards the 200 moving average at uh, roughly. 12,673. That is going probably going to be a long shot, but still there are signs that this is about to turn around. There are also signs that this will continue to stay within this area here or rally up towards the 50 and then continue breaking down. We can look at where we could see this go. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this, then we can see that we tested the 50 Fibonacci retracement and basically rallied from that. But still, we did not take out these previous highs. We did not do this. So back in, this was in November, when we had the bottom here, and then we took out those previous highs. If we get an opening above here, then yes, that could basically mean that we will see something similar to this a v shaped recovery uh, up towards 14,000. 14, but until now, we do not have that sign. And therefore, we could continue drifting lower towards the next Fibonacci retracement at 61.8. That is roughly, give or take, at uh, 12,925. 12,000 will 
most likely be an area where a lot of buyers will come in and buy this. But as I said, we could continue higher and we could also drift lower. So this looks like a bearish flag. And if that is the case, then we fell, drifted higher, and then we'll fall even further from here. So we could actually fall, or this was basically the lows. So that could be the case. We could go higher, we could go lower. At the moment, it is not clear where we technically are going. We could also look at some of the big tech stocks for, for, the, for the NASDAQ, and we have them here, for example, Apple. So Apple had, is still trending, trending underneath the 150. It did not manage to break that. This is a very bullish candlestick, but it's still trading underneath the 150. Other technical indicators here are still very negative, even though we are oversold in Apple. So Amazon, same thing. This is a very bullish candlestick, but still we're still trading underneath the 200 and did not manage to take out this, this, uh, this uh, candlestick. Microsoft is, uh, is better. It is fairly bullish, uh, more bullish than the other uh, two. Facebook is still just staying within this same range underneath the 50, so it's not very bullish at this point, even though these technical indicators are looking much, much better. And then Tesla. Tesla just fell off a cliff for the last, uh, basically the last month. Ever since they started buying into Bitcoin, I'm just saying, they have been falling off a cliff. You can look at the the twitter post and the day that this started falling it is it is there is a correlation there so whether or not the market thought that tesla was basically uh, going in investing in something that is really really risky and uh, that could be a explanation why we have fallen another explanation is that this has been rallying ridiculously in 2020 so 2020, we were in January, we were down here at $84 a share. And then it rallied all the way up to 957. So roughly, uh, roughly 957%. Yes, so a tenfold in only a year. So when that happens, yes, you will most likely see a fall and Compared to that increase, com uh, to that increase, and this fall here, this is roughly thirty nine percent. So, so it's lost uh, roughly a third of its value in the last uh, last few weeks. But but still, when you have rallies like Tesla's had for last year, you should see a correction because people are have just been buying into this, um, even though this company is not making a heck of a lot of money. Just saying, not yet at least. Technical indicators for Tesla are still looking at dreadful. So we could head back towards um, the 150. We could also head to the 200. We could also head way, way lower. There are uh, predictions for from major banks and so on that have Tesla at very, very low levels. But but at this point, the 150 is holding. This could be the bottom of the market, and then we'll continue higher. Other car manufacturers like NIO have also been hit absolutely ridiculously hard the last few weeks. Because NIO has lost, lost roughly half of its value the last month. So Google, very bullish, and Netflix is, well, recovering. It hit the bottom here. Let me get rid of this. It hit the bottom here at the 100, uh, 200 moving average rallied above the 150 but found some resistance at the at the 100 moving average so this is also looking very very bearish and considering that most of these companies some of them are about to turn around and some of them are still extremely bearish that could mean that the uh, nasdaq will be really really choppy on monday it doesn't mean that we'll have a uh v-shaped recovery all of the sudden it could mean that we are just going to see ups and downs for the foreseeable future and at some point we will break to the upside or we will continue lower it is not very clear at this point so 
Hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us on our Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.